Right. So in this lesson, uh, the lesson three, uh, we are going to prepare for you um, everything set up before going for automation test with the web driver IO, uh, app on or not yet. So we need to download and install an IDE. Um, IDE is an integration development uh, environment in the simple context. It's uh, the tool for you to write in your code. Okay, uh, and then you view in it a simple Node.js, Node.js profile. Um, uh, I'm sorry, it should be Node.js um, project, not profile, sorry. Uh, then install libraries for web driver I.O. Uh, set up table config for writing code in ESC syntax because you may already know in JavaScript we have a e e ES5 and ES6 and with the ES6 syntax we can do many advantaged um, feature from the JavaScript. So the Node.js is uh, in a simple way it's a JavaScript on server side. Okay. And the last one will be set up more care testing framework option and test uh, configures uh, test configuration file. So let's start. The first thing you need to download and install IDA. So uh, I'm using the web storm, but you don't need to use the web storm because it needs the license. So what I suggest for you that the Visual Studio code from Microsoft here. You can go to code visualstudio.com and then download the version for your machine and you can install. Uh, if you want to try, you can try the web store. That's a, my favorite ID for coding with JavaScript. It's web store, but you have pre 30 day trial. So for me, I got a license so I can do it. And I, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's just a tool for you to try your code. So you can do Visual Studio code. It's very famous, okay, and it's a free. Uh, you can try web storm like me, a uh, free 30, uh, 30 day trial, okay. So after that, what you have that the you need a simple Node.js project. So to do that, the first step you need to create a folder. You create a folder to do what to contain your code, okay. So I'm trying to open the terminal. You don't need to follow me to open the terminal because I'm using the mouse, so I'm using the command. It's, the, it's more convenient for me. But for you, just uh, open um, the folder uh, on your machine and then try to right click a new folder and name it something like you want. Okay. So for me, I will make the make the directory <clears throat> and I will name it as uh, Merkle automation test and this is the um, tutorial okay and then I will go to that directory First step, create a new folder, then go to that directory and open your command line tool in that folder location. Okay, so you just go to change directory to that folder. So if you are using a Windows machine, you go to that folder, right click, and then you try to open a command line here. As I remember, and that will open your terminal in that location for you. So the next command that you need to execute that you execute the command npm uh, init hyphen y, and that will create a simple process for you. Uh, just a partition we will open, and I will walk through with you what is it. Okay. Okay. Done. Now you open the IDE that you already installed in the first step. For me, I will open 
from web store uh, open and then I open the folder that I have just created so let's see what we have in that folder so in that folder we just have one the one file now that is the package.json file so what's in the package.json this is uh, like the uh, uh, metadata for your uh, project everything you contain inside from dependency information the name version description and everything inside here so in this package.json we will start to install the dependency and library for web driver io So what do we need to install library for web driver IO? You may come to the web driver IO here and you want to see the getting start. They have a uh, very detail for you, but maybe for the beginner, you don't know how to start or which library that you need to install. So I already have the packet session here and I will explain for you what dependency that you need to install in your project. So the first thing that you need to install that the, the web driver IO command line tool and the web driver IO local runner. Then you need to install web driver IO package with the name sync that will help to make your JavaScript code running synchronously. And of course you need to download the web driver IO. And uh, we need to install a mocha framework uh, packet that's the web driver IO mocha framework. So what's the mocha framework? Um, here, you can go to mocha.js.org and it's a, a futurist JavaScript test framework running. So basically you don't need the mocha framework, but why do you need it? Because you will have uh, maybe hundreds of test case and the test case will be combined into Tests and you don't want to do it yourself, um, like how to manage all of them to test shoot a test case, what run first, what run later, and whether we skip something. So we need a testing framework, and Mocha is, is a very awesome framework for JavaScript. Okay, so you need to down uh, to install it, uh, but. You don't need to download and install it directly because it needs to work with web driver IO. So that's why you see the web driver IO, they have a separate practice named web driver IO mocha framework here, and we need to install them all. For the reporter, we review Allure reporter, but you don't need to install it right now. Um, for the next lesson, we will install it later. So now we start to install the package. So just open the terminal that in the location that you have just used for the command uh, npm in this uh, hyphen y here and start npm install or you just simple put uh, a letter i here. So npm i and the name of the library that you want to install. So the first library that the web driver IO here, okay, npm i web driver IO, and we need to install it as a, we need to save that information to the practice system. That's why you need to hyphen hyphen and save, enter. And we install for other libraries. So we need to install for web driver or packet command line tool. And the next one is the web driver IO packet local runner up and the web driver IO package is a, a synth packet 
and the last one that's it, the mocha framework okay. so now if you go back to your packet position you see that the dependency information is now included in the packet position here and you can see we have a new folder with the name notes modules and in the notes module it will contain your library compiled code already for you to do in your project so let me see whether we are missing something uh, command line to local runner mocha framework thing and web library web driver IO, we have totally five of them. So everything is okay now. <clears throat> so the next step that we need to set up the paper configuration file for writing code in the existing docs and set up the mocha testing framework option and test configuration file. So how to do that? The first thing you need to do that is you create a paper config file this information yeah so in your project you create a new file a new javascript file here with the name paper.config.cs enter and you will have the module.export and we have some presets for your environment something like that just copy here and paste here okay so we have an object first module.export okay and it will export an object for you and in this we oh sorry we have a preset and in this preset we have an array and you just um, symbol to copy and paste the variable. I don't think we need to go deep dive in the paper configuration, but just in case you want to read more, you just go to paper cf.io and you can try to read through the doc how to config, how to do something like that. But this is a template for you, how to do your ES6 uh syntax in your automation test framework okay so now we have a paper configuration file what do we need mm, that is the test configuration file okay you just simple right click and now we create a new file with the name javascript name that's a um test hyphen config dot Yes. Okay. Uh, you can name this file you know, with a different name, but um, test configs will be an easier name for you to remember. So in this file, you do what? You do export um, dot a config object equal and you will put every single thing here inside so i have uh, a sample tag configuration here and i can show you what is it so we export a config the log level let me show you where you can refer later you come to the web driver io uh, home page and you go to the documentation here and you find out you find out test runner configuration okay they have all explanation for you about how to set up a full configuration file and there's a lot of information um, i will explain for you in the next tutorial so basically we have a log level we have an info a silent debug uh, error so info that means it will show every single information when you run your test you want to put it silent that's okay as well but 
you need to put it in for for learning purpose because you can see how uh, your testing runs on your machine okay uh, the second one that is framework the framework in Mocha. and we are going to specify the mass instance that mean the mass maximum script running right now is one and we have more car option okay and we are reporter uh, in the more car option we have a ui is a pdd it is not the pdd like your king of cucumber so it's just the ui interface that the more car framework they specify and in this case we use the pdd so in the pdd when you write your text you view you the decry you view you the it to specify a text script if you use TDD here, you need to use something like scenario or something like that to just different a little. We will come back about this later. Uh, and we need to request as paper that register. What's the paper register? It's a model to tell the mocker framework that we need to use make a paper to compile my uh, ES6 syntax. Uh, to ES5 syntax before running the test script and the timeout here you just set around 10 minutes maximum timeout for your one test about reporter we are going to do the Azure but you don't need that on right now okay so just simple to create a tech configuration we have the first thing that the log level and in this case we need to have information level the second one that's it um, we need a framework name framework and we will you mocha and we we view specify the mocha option here it should be in a range Oh, an object. Yep. And we will specify the math instance. One. And we need to specify the runner should be local. It should be something here. It should be runner local host local host and the best. Runner, we are going to run this in local. And the box, we are going to communicate that the APM box server, uh, and we are going to use the default box for seven to three. Okay, and we need to specify the path to communicate with the APM server. It should be um, slot to the hub. Host. and we are going to give the local host that we need to run the APM server on the local host map instant let's see let's see whether we need to do more reporter we don't need, we don't need it to break now and try sync okay and the last one that the synchronously or not so we are going to use synchronously so just specify is synchronously true so basically right now the tech configuration file is look like this one and we view as more in our next tutorial but right now so just keep in mind that we are going to run in the local that that is your machine and the park we need to contact that the APM park okay um, and the host this is a local host and the best the best to communicate with the APM server that last uh, the duty slot hub the log level that we need to bring out the info and framework we are going to use that the more car and we have a mocha option that we give the UI interface DDD. We request the package 
payable register with the time out 600,000 millisecond. That means 600 um, second, and you have around 10 minutes. So everything is now okay, except one thing we need to install some paper, uh, some paper library, like paper register uh, to help you to combine uh, your code. So just go to your uh, command line tool here in the same folder and you are going to install some other package. Let me see my sample package dot session. So the first thing you need to install the paper command line, the paper core module, the paper preset environment module, and the paper register module. So the first thing that you need to NVMI and the pocket paper command line and hyphen hyphen say hyphen dev. That means it will save the information in the dev dependency. The Dev dependency does mean you use your uh, your library um, just just in case you need to compile something, do something. It's not the real thing you use in your tech automation framework. Okay, it's just a super library. So that's why we need to push all of them in the dev dependencies. But by somehow you don't have a safe. Uh, hyphen hyphen say and hyphen dev here. That means you uh, you make a mid test and you push it in the dependency. It still works as well, but uh, as a best practice, you need to push in the dev dependency. Okay. And the second one that's your paper core module. Yeah, the paper core. And we have a paper preset environment. And we have paper register module, the last one. Yeah, so just come back to your packet position here and you see we have a formal library in the depth dependency right now and everything is now set up and you are now ready to start your automation test script from the next tutorial. So bye for now and see you in the next tutorial.